hey guys so today i am going to show you how you can use GoFormative to help you digitally collect data from your students um in terms of classwork homework assessments right quizzes tests so where you're going to go you're going to go to on your tab goformative.com and it's going to bring you to this screen and you're going to need to sign up if you haven't already so to sign up you click on there you're a teacher sign in with google enter the school zip code and click that you agree to the terms where that takes you let me log in that's going to take you to your main screen now i have classes already here i have folders because i have used school formative uh, last year so first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the tab classes and you're going to want to sync from google classroom so once you have all your students in your google classroom you are going to want to sync it to this so you don't need to give any student any code to enter the goal formative it's automatically already they're linked together once you have that you'll have your periods you have the number of students you have in there and then you're ready to actually start to create your formative you're going to go to formatives and you're going to put this little plus i created folders so i have each of my classes separated and i know that those are the assessments or the homeworks for those specific classes so by putting this plus the little folder you could create different folders if you have multiple classes um once you want to create a formative you're going to do plus new formative edit click this plus so there's some good things and some bad things right we're working with a free version right now if we want the premium version we'll be able to use a lot more tools so a graphing tool will come in handy in math um, and science a numeric tool again something that will might be useful for our classes um, the numeric tool will help make students write mathematically nice and neat using uh i believe it uses equational which is an awesome math type tool so once you press that plus you're ready to create your formative there's two types of formatives that you may want to create so let's say i want to use existing questions from someone that has created something on whatever i'm doing so let's say i'm combining like terms i'll search that and see what comes up if i like it i'll use it click on all that comes up and if i like a question i'll just add it and it'll start creating my formative another thing you could do is in edit how many of us don't have a billing worksheets already made we download the pdf file from our google drive or a car computer and just upload it digitally where the students will be able to write their work or submit their work digitally to you again the bad thing about this is that since we're working with the free version we only get 25 pages to upload per month if we have the premium we'll be able to actually use more or upload more pages and 25 pages seems like a lot but it really isn't if you're going to be using this daily another thing is when you upload since we're in the free version we can only upload five pages at a time so if your worksheet is a six pager you'll have to do the last page by itself once you create your formative you should always be titling it so here titled your assignment but i'm going to show you what this is going to look like i have an example of a pre-made version right something that i found on the back on edit all of the questions i liked i grabbed i only grabbed four and once i'm ready to assign i'm gonna go to assign and i'll be able to click a class that i want to assign it to adjust settings you could adjust the settings again all these stars 
lets you do different features if you have the premium version. So I actually, at the end of last year, since I was giving my final, I did put in my card so I could get a free trial of the premium version. And it came in so handy because I love the schedule open and close time. So I pre-scheduled what time I wanted my students to take the final and at what time it was going to close. So I would love that feature to be given to me right now. But since I don't have that, I don't have much options. So after each submission, um, you could keep the assignment visible, but they won't be able to edit. You could change that if you like. Return scores, if you want them to automatically know what they got when they submitted, you could change that as well. I usually wait till the end for that. And then it says return correct answers. If you want, you could tell them what the correct answers were. Again, you could change that to your liking. So that's in adjust settings. That's an optional piece. You don't have to use that. You could just use the defaults that are those. Once you're ready to assign officially, I'm going to assign and post to Google. So since it's linked to Google, why not just post it to Google, right? So I'm going to post to Google and I'll show you how my Google page would look and what the students would see. So if I go to here, this is where I posted it. Um, it says Mrs. Kipes posted a new assignment via formative. So students are going to click on there and then the instruction piece, they'll just click on the link and that's automatically going to link them to the test itself. So since I'm logged in here, you won't be able to see the student version here. But as the students are working on this, so it turns green every time the student gets a correct answer. It turns red every time a student gets the question wrong. So I'm going to show you um, answers, right? So I have those four questions. I graded it already, but this is what I made myself do as a student. Number one said simplify the following. I wrote it down on paper, I took a picture, and I uploaded it. So this is something that students could do. So it's easy for you to grade because you'll see the question and you'll see their work to it. You see the question, you see the work to it. For number three, I use the draw feature. So there's a draw feature for the students where they could show their work by drawing on the actual assignment. The only bad thing about that is that if they're working on a computer using the mouse and it, it's a little bit tricky to write if you're not if you don't have a tablet if you don't have a stylus pen so if you do have a stylus pen or if your students are using that that's great um, another thing that's great here for the drawing feature is if they're using their phones to show their work because you could easily write with your finger and then here we go, last number four, a show all work. So really nice for me to see exactly what they did for that specific question. When all your students finish it, you'll be able to see how many people got question number one wrong, how many got it right. So just by its color coded feature, so the red and green, red being bad, green bean that they they know what they're doing. And that's a useful tool for us because the more red I see in the question, that just means that I should be going through that specific question. Maybe number two, I don't see that many red or I just see two people got it wrong. Then maybe I just want to target those two individuals instead of me going through the entire question where everyone got it right. Right. So those are some awesome benefits of using this go formative. Another thing is, what if you didn't use a pre-made question bank and you're actually using a worksheet? So I have a worksheet that I made here that I'm going to upload and I'm going to have them do the pretty much the same thing, right? I go to edit, I go to that plus and I go to PDF because I want to upload my own PDF. Make sure you save your files as a PDF to do that. Once you have that, all you do is I'm numbering these. So I'm deciding that I want this first question to be 
Short answer, show me your work. If I wanna add more questions, I click and I decide what type of question I have. So this is where that numeric feature will come in handy, the graphing feature will come in handy for us. But what I'm gonna mostly be using this for would be show your work, multiple choice, or maybe even a short answer as far as an explained question, right? So let's say show work, I'll number it, it puts it there, and I just keep going and numbering it as I want. If I go down here, I could also make my questions multiple choice if I already have a pre-made test. So instead of me typing every question out, and making my life so much more difficult. I'm just gonna upload my PDF and assign the question. So this is the question according to this number eight. Make sure you change it from ABCs if that's what you don't use to whatever you're using as your multiple choice and so forth. So it, it's going to be a lot less work, especially because we know we all have our resources. And here comes that uh, premium version again, because they love us to pay for stuff that they won't let us scramble the order. And this is actually cool about the premium version is that even though it's a multiple choice question, you are able to make them show their work. So it's not like they're just guessing, right? Or hopefully using different tools. Hopefully you use it, enjoy and try it out.